welcome dear student on my channel today we will learn about the typha another name for this plant that is a cat tea plant this practically is there in the 12th standard board exam it is there for the identification where you have to identify this plant and you have to write the characteristics of this plant in this video we will see about the live plant and with the help of that we will learn about the characteristics of this plant this cattle plant is there which prefer the wet feed and the standing water found at the edge of the ponds also and slow moving river and the streams typha is of the genus about 30 species of the monocotyledonous flowering plants in the family typhaceae this plant have the variety of the common names of which the one of the name is there that is a cat tail plant if you observe that this plant is there which is a erect it is a perennial and a fresh water aquatic herb which can grow 3 to 4 meter height now this is one of the wetland is there where we can observe that the waterlogged area is there so sometimes it acts like the weed cover whole area and difficult to remove afterward this plant is having the grass like leaves which emerge from the perennial rhizome which is at the base what we observe here the very top of the stem is where the flowers now here we will try to remove the this typha plant let us see how many plants we will get so I am trying to pulling out this with the help of the root and the rhizome so let us see so this is about the wetland now this is what the plants I have removed and you can watch that at the base the rhizome is a present stem and these are the leaves are there this all leaves are there which are the erect the height of the plant because of this leaves 3 to more than 3 meter in the height these leaves are there which are the erect because of the presence of the mechanical tissue in that so the length of the leaf may reach up to the 4 meter also so we can observe that which are the grass like leaves but they are the erect and can stand can reach up to height of the 3 to 4 meter So this plant what I have removed to get the clear idea about each and every part of the plant. So here the rhizome is there which is a stem which grow horizontally and from that it gives a vegetative growth. So these all rhizomes are there we can watch here which grow horizontally go, go in the different direction and from where we get the different plants of the typha. If you observe that the roots are there, this the roots which are the advantageous roots. This plant is belong to the monocotyledons, so that's why it shows the characteristics of the monocotyledons. This is the rhizome you can watch here. Here the number of the plants from the base of this, we observe that number of the stems are there, which are the rhizomes are there, which grow horizontally. And this way it shows a vegetative growth and cover the complete area. So the spread underground rhizome which forming a very dense colonies and that's why it act like the weeds as sometimes it cover the whole area where we cannot get down another crop also so it is a erect perennial fresh water aquatic herb <coughs> the linear cattail leaves are which are the thick so here we can see observe that the transfer section is taken we can watch that how the mechanical tissues are present in that air space is a present so which we can call as a parenchyma spongy tissue is also present 
so this the air canals are present so you can watch you can get a clear idea about that here the longitudinal section is taken you can watch that how the arrangement is there about the all the cells it looks somewhat like the leaf of the banana if you cut the leaf of the banana we will take the longitudinal section of the banana leaf it shows the same type of the arrangement of the cells so this mechanical tissue because of that it stands erect so this is a ts is a taken about the whole plant so all the leaves which are the arranged circularly this is about the young stem is there this is about the inflorescence so at the top of the stalk we observe that presence of the male flowers are there and just below that all female flowers are present so this what the this in between that the gap is present and below that this all are the female flowers so here after it get dry it looks like that so that's why the name is given cat tail plant it looks like the tail of the cat so now here we can watch that once it get dry so cotton like things are there which are all what are the seeds which are ready and along with that what are the hairy part is there due to which it spread in the different direction with the flow of the wind so the cotton like things are there so this looks like the cat tail so this all dried up now this plant is there which is a uh, present in the water logged area or just now i said that it is flow what is the flow of the water is there so it clean that water this is about the stagnant water so we can watch here this what are the plants are there they are the home and the food to many insects for the birds as well as some of the amphibians now here this is about what is there in your practical book this experiment number 8 it is about the aquatic plants you have to learn in this about the habitat of that plant this is about the typha plant cat tail plant what just now we observed that you can watch the leaves the arrangement inflorescence there at the stalk where we find the male and the female flower this is the information which is given in your practical book now these are the answers are there that you can take the screenshot of this and you can complete your practical book question number 1 2 question number 3 and 4 same answers you can copy in your practical book question number now 5 and 6 after this you can see the this is about the identification suppose a question will come in the exam you have to write at least 3 to 4 characteristics about this plant to get the one mark now along with this number of the videos i have made you can go in the description box where the links are shared so number of the practical videos i have made as well as number of the dissection about the testes about the brain about the heart about the kidney so this number of the dissection videos i have made about the kidney it is there in hindi also so you can just go through the in the description box is about the heart dissection of the heart number of the diagrams videos are also have made how to draw diagram easily step by step okay so you can type my name and get all the videos thank you